UFO or executive face-off because we are getting uh, treatment mula sa ating uh, UNT News and Rescue team. Fourth corner, up the road. Palace of GSIS, and now it's the biggest lead. Palace of White Shirts at 13 points. 59-46. But by our quick side, we will be having a more time around. Rina? Yes, for the GSIS team, they need to address their lapses, especially when it comes to the events. No, may mga times kasi na kahit makashoot sila dito, may mga times na hindi tinatamad na sila humabol or bumaba dun sa kanilang depensa. Alam mo, isang bagay kung bakit then hindi sila masyadong nakalamang dito, especially on the first half. Nung kung alam din ni Sir John Deluna, rather, who averages 10 points per game. No, malaking bagay para sa kanila yun. Uh, they didn't specify, but Sir Deluna will undergo a medical procedure dun sa kanyang long-time problem sa kanyang uh, nilo. Uh, meanwhile, para naman dito sa kupuna ng ombudsman, they just have to guard the perimeter dito. Dahil it's, uh, ito nila yung nagiging backdoor ng mga big men dito ng GSIS. They know for sure that the GSIS is maximizing on other big men here. That's why it needs to stop here. And on offense, kailangan lang masecure nila yung bola na pumasok talaga dun sa basket. Eric and Coach Ronnie. All right, maraming salamat, Rina. Right now, uh, GSIS doing everything right. Ay gusto nila yung kanilang depensa ay napensa. Nakakatulong din para sa kanila na nag-bumitis itong ombudsman right now. The last shot nila was an air boy. This one is also off mula kay Sandoval. So back to back misses para kay Sandoval. Right now, every second counts para sa Graf Busters. Big rebound para kay Sandoval. Ayan, tatawagan ang Faris yung makalait. Sideline in bound, up to the foul by makalait. Second team foul para sa GSIS. Right now, Sandoval and company, kailangan nila makaputos. They need to get a basket or at least get to the line. Palas of the team. Miss. Balani, rebound, and there's going to be a foul somewhere. Ang daming tulakan doon. I think it's going to be an Alfonso. Because na sandwich si Bala sa pangita ni Alfonso ni Ati Yaku. So that's going to be the third team foul. Para dito sa GSIS. They will land very early in the penalty kung hindi sila magiginay-ginay sa kanilang fouls. No team fouls yet para sa Ombudsman kung patating tingin ni Tess. Bala misses as well. Two straight tries, zero field goals, and they are the target and foul. So, go on. First team foul, para sa Ombudsman. Yeah, full court press, it seems, para dito sa Ombudsman right now. We will try to force a third over. And they go. Good job by the defense. Now, Ombudsman, they will get the ball back. They still have time. Marami pang oras to. 8 minutes, 16 seconds. Pero they have to start now. They're down by 13 points. Mateo. Sanchez. Mateo gets it back. They're back. Trying to go back to Sanchez. They almost lost it. Pala na sa ilalit. They have a fan. So, Yako. A few spins. And Pala. Puts it in. Pala. And that's going to be his first field goal. Or first field goal after seven attempts. At tatawagan ng foul si Mateo. That's going to be a big problem right now. Pag-apat na yan. Si Mateo. Now he will practically be playing token defense. Para dito sa Ombudsman with his fourth personal foul. Si Yako misses. There's Palaso. Pasa kay Mateo. Malapas! They gotta settle down. They come on this one. They cannot afford these turnovers. They are still down by 11. Si Yako to Lagman. Piyasa kay Alfonso. Looking for the baseline. Si Yako with the cut. Si Yako with the double miss. Pero good box out by Alfonso. Nice block from behind by Sagoban. Another block by Mateo. Pero Lagman gets it back. Suyako misses again. Sandoval with another rebound. The pass. Palacios for the run. Back-to-back turnovers. Para sa ombudsman. 
This is getting out of control for them. They cannot afford the Manta Polito. They have 20 turnovers, 11 left para the GSIS. So many wasted opportunities para sa Ombudsman with the back-to-back -back turnovers. That's where the difference lies. When you're ahead, it's easier to make a shot. Uh -oh. If you're under pressure, kasama yan. Pass to Walker, no? And uh, the second unit there is not who can control you. So they have won the fourth quarter, that's why the starters have not returned after we ended the third quarter, 56 to uh -oh. 46, so 5 2. A lot, it is a fourth. So, Global. Third straight miss for Esa Global from the three point line. Atasi Lagman, they go to Chiyako. Chiyako from outside. And the rebound, Palacio. That's going to be a foul on Chiyako. That's a good one. Simply because they stopped. Sam, Palacio para kayo bala. Mga parating na laro natin. That's a Sunday. Parang pamili-pamili yung mga nandito. So, Dova, nakaposto. And there's a foul. Very penalty. Maagang na penalty kung ano. Yes, I am. So many fouls in the first two minutes. Okay, kailangan ng uh, ombudsman to get to the line. One way or another, get some points on the board because we're still down here. By 11. Where's that points? Kasama ng Eric sa Dova. Actually, sorry, that was uh, pang 50th point ng palunuloy, so they're still down by 11. Pang hapa dito sa 4. Oh. So, oops. Good. Defense to force a turnover. Kasar sa ilalim. Oh! Good decision. Not a foul, no? After the turnover. Oh. Tanaman. Man, Kasar self-destructed in that last instance. Kasi nga, may pressure ka. May pressure, makaraig. Sanchez has it, two against two. Sandoval. Pasa kay Kasar, Kasar sa ilalim. Again! Good defense by Alfonso. Sanchez fading away. I tell you about it, Kasar may have this pressure. Nothing is really easy. Oo, no? Hirap na hirap yung mga ng puntos, even from... And we're almost halfway. Up close. Sa basket. Para sa ombudsman. Ano ba oras? Kalahati na lang natitira. Pilis na. Alfonso, pinagantay ni Sandoval. 3 seconds to shoot. 2 seconds. 1 second. Right at the buzzer. Missed it. Yeah. Smart. Smart. Oh! Ito, kasar. Libre. Miss is what? Oh! Wala pang whistle. Pwede mag <laughs> Oh, wow! How many misses para kay Kasara from point blank range? This must be the only because... Yes, sir. With a salute. Yes, sir. Eight points for the Mahalaes in the last three minutes. Sorry, in the last uh, eight minutes. Kasi pumasok sila doon sa third quarter. Sa dulo. Wow. When the starters left, they were held up not by this much. This unit on the floor for the Phoenix. Blowing with a lot of fuel. sa Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Ito na ang pinakamalaking kalamanan ng uh, GSIS. 14 points. Pero ang ombudsman po, hindi naman sila since the beginning na tatambakan. They, they were up by 10 in the second quarter. And it all fell apart in the second half. Pero they still have 4 minutes and change remaining para habulin itong 14 point deficit. Sagsag mula sa labas, Pebol. Pero last touch by Beran. 
Definitely, this will be another huge win in the pocket. Yeah. Uh, yes, we will only be under two minutes away from leaving. And the building on the building is making the safety protection of the third spot. Which is group three. Five straight to watch, you know? It's only five straight. Because, Nick, you know, they're going to win the game. 
CFA Of course Of course straight lang Okay Kaya minsan Medyo yung bilangan ay Oo uh -oh. Pwede mo na lang sa pangalang Officer of the game and for ombudsman they will need a miracle para mabura itong 12 point deficit Hernandez misses and tapikan ang bola will go to ombudsman it went over the backboard sorry 14 14 higahabol ang ombudsman Palacio May mga lamang na madaling habulin eh. uh -oh. Pero ito Unless may record of uh, some sort happens Sandoval Misses again Tapikan Oh my god side Last touch ng pala Good. Definitely like what we said kanya I would probably do it I thought that Balas uh, side lining was a huge uh -oh. uh, Disadvantage para sa kanila There's a steal Palacio This is Asal sa ilalim This is again That one almost went in Hernandez now reverses A foul by Adri Tubo Who is in the game for the first time Hernandez also played well Oh yes Shot the ball well when they needed him to Atorce For Hernandez 3 out of 7 Well, that's a three-point line, so that's 43 percent. Substitution. As Kilala papasok for Bala, na for Pabi for Bala. Final 49 seconds. Another bit of time to make up in the first game. Well, on this one, they were right there. In fact, they had a 10-point lead in the second quarter. So it's, they were more than right there. They had a chance to win it. But uh, just too much firepower for the GSIS. From the starting line, the starting five, some hits as well. Makarae coming in big at the end of the third quarter. And a quick foul by Kilala. That was like a shooting star talking about Makarae. This is first attempt. And suddenly went to my big scoring space. And that's from the end of the third quarter. And this is in the fourth quarter. And that really hurt the chances of Ombudsman. And they were not alone that they really struggled, especially Kassar sa ilalim. And then the turnovers. The two turnovers ng Ombudsman in the fast break. Gusto nila makapunto sa agad. They threw the ball away. And that really hurt their chances of making a comeback in the fourth quarter. Gets an approval from the fans and the bench after knocking in the free throw. Marathi misses. And down 10. Down 13. Uh -oh. 23 point turnaround. It, it was a 21 5 third quarter, coach. Pabursa, CSI, yes. 21 5. Oh, yeah. Lazar finally has it. <laughs> And a quick foul again, Kilala, this time on Garcia. And they were really hoping for a miracle here to Mombudsman, just fouling every opportunity. And so they are both in the penalty. Uh, hoping uh, GSIS misses their free throws and 
they can cash in sa kanilang maganda. But Garcia has struggled at the line. He continues to miss. He is 0 for 5 from the free throw line. Actually, kung tumama na siya dun sa second quarter pa lang, mga ganay habol nila. Oo. The first free throw made para kayo Garcia. Kose, kalamangan ng GSIS. A double misses. Tapor, pasa, is Casal sa ilalim. Na back to back points para kay Casal. That's a 10 point game. The run with a nice catch on the run. Pasa kay De La Cuadra. And he will miss. De La Cuadra, five by Dator. It's been the catalyst. Oh. It's a big difference literally. De La Cuadra, 14. On five out of nine shooting. 10 rebounds with double-double para kay De La Cuadra. Actually, si Garcia then double-double, 13 and 10. Kinsa na, 15 and 10 for De La Cuadra. 10 rebounds. Sandoval. First free throw in the game. Para kay Sandoval, but it will be for sure for not. As uh, maipapanalo ng itong GSIS. Uh, uh, really, we'll stick with the play up until the buzzer for Afal Salasan with the 3.9 seconds remaining. Walo pa rin ang kalamanan dito ng GSIS. Hernandez misses. Kung may 4-point shot dito, Coach, baka may pag-asa pa. Yes. Hernandez, ah, yun nga, makawala na. Kasi wala na. Siyam lang kalamangan. Unless mag-develop na naman sila ng 5-point shot. Sa half-court. O, Kasar takes it up. And lays it in. Maganda. At the buzzer. GSIS officially, they get the win. And aangat sila sa 4-1 sa ating standing. Sa matalang babagsak sa 2-4. Four and one with three games remaining in their playing schedule, and this one will jump to two and four with two more games in their remaining matches, and that's going to be a tall order for them. First things first, para sa GSIS, they stick close to the place settles. They will be rewarded as they will only be one quarter away from the second place team among the Cavaliers. Ah, the two players with a double double today: Garcia and Dela Cuadra, kasama ni Rina Bidemar Camara. Rina. Thank you so, so much, uh, Sir Eric Kipan and Coach Ronnie Magsano. Our best players coming from the GSIS Series. We have Paul de la Cuadra and Homer Garcia. First of all, unahin muna natin itong si Sir Paul de la Cuadra. Congratulations po sa kupunan ng GSIS. This has not been a walk in the park para sa inyong kupunan, especially on uh, the first half. But how did you make sure that you guys are going to recover, especially on the third quarter? Uh, actually, talagang kinagalang ng team uh, yung uh, mga plays namin and yung defense na pinapagawa sa amin ni Coach Popo, importante talaga yun. We treat this uh, ga one game at a time. So, this is a must win for us. Nakaramdam po ba kayo ng kawalan over the Sir John Deluna who is not able to see action for today because Sir John Deluna can uh, be able to contribute uh, 10 points in every game? Uh, malaking uh, uh, ano hole yun uh, na provide ni ano ni manager John uh, malaking uh, contribution niya sa team and uh, we miss yung uh, services ni John De Luna. Sir, can you also comment about the team effort of the GSIS maintaining that uh, third ranking in the team standings? Yes, actually uh, lahat ito nasa ano paghihirap ng team doon team. Sabi ko nga no nag-usap tayo kanina, lahat nagko-contribute, lahat mistake dun sa play at contribution ko ano yung pwede nilang ibigay na uh, tips or any observations dun sa mga plays namin. Sir, babalikan po kita para sa inyong mga greetings. Dito po muna tayo kay Homer Garcia. Uh, for a couple of times, you've been the best player para dito sa kapuna ng GSIS series. Ano ba ang sikreto ng isang Homer Garcia? <laughs> For support po, nagpapasalamat kami sa pinigay na panalo ni Lord. Thank you po sa panalo. Yun lang po, medyo up pa po yung start namin. Gabul pa kami. Medyo ulang sa pagod siguro. Hindi ako nakapractice itong 
past week na dumaan ka kasi maraming trabaho kaya medyo ba pero sisigaw sini ka pa rin ng team na makabawi at yun nga ay panalo pa rin na itawid na So you have three more games remaining you have ag- ag- up against the DOJ the OP and the AFP what can we expect from uh, Homer Garcia and those last three games? Uh, hopefully po uh, masustain namin yung panalo namin yung effort ng bawat players yung team namin makupleto kami uh, medyo malaking butas nga yung iniwan ni Manager John Deluna, uh, sana makabalik siya in time kung makapapasok po kami sa Final Four. Uh, hopefully magtuloy-tuloy lang po yung panalo namin. And yung resistensya at defense namin, ma-improve namin yung defense namin. Go ahead with your greetings, yung mga gusto niyo pong pasalamatan sa larong ito. Ayan, thank you po sa mga, sa mga sumusuporta sa GSIS, sa aming pong mga members, sa aming pong mga executives, kay PGM Big Beloso, uh, kay Manager Paulo Beloso po sa aking pong SPP at BPGK. Uh, Andres, uh, ay BPI rin yung maano po. Sa manager ko po sa Laguna Branch, si manager Chavi Fardo. Uh, sa mga manigpas family daw po sa Batangas. At sa pamilya ko po sa Lucena, maraming po salamat sa mga kasama ko sa Laguna. Thank you po. Maraming salamat din sa inyo, Sir Homer Garcia. And now we move back to uh, VP Paul Delacuagra. Ang inyong mga greetings, of course, who supported you and motivated you for today's ballgame. Yes, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa GSIS community for the support. Sa lahat po ng admin, support namin sa kila boss uh, Paolo Veloso, eh, Ricky Ramos, uh, sa mga executives po, lalo na kay VP Junyu, and of course sa family ko na nanonood ngayon sa bahay. Maraming maraming salamat po sa support. Big congratulations to the GSIS Theories. Thank you so much to our best players, Paul De La Cuadra and Homer Garcia of the GSIS, winning their game 73-66 to against the Young Bloods Mac. Yeah, Buster is coming right up our second game over this afternoon. We have the Comelec Fast Trackers going up against the OP Executives. We're coming to you live on the UNTV channel, pati na rin po sa ating Facebook page and UN, YouTube channel, rather, of UNTV Sports. Huwag po kayong alas, magbabalik po ang UNTV Cup Executives Face Off, hashtag Win and Win, Win and Sports, and Win for Charity.